Seeds have three main parts. Embryo, food store, seed coat. The embryo is an immature plant that will grow to become an adult plant. The food store consists of starch. This is for the young plant to use until it's able to carry out photosynthesis. The seed coat is the protective outer covering. Germination is the process in which the seed begins to develop into a new young plant. This process is controlled by enzymes. There are a few factors required for the plant to grow. These are sunlight, water, oxygen and warm temperature. The water required comes from the soil. Oxygen is required for aerobic respiration. Warm temperature increases enzyme activity and ultimately the growth rate of the plant. The process of germination begins when a seed is put into the soil. The seed begins to absorb water. As it does this, the seed coat becomes soft and swells. The seed also requires nutrients, which it gets from its food storage in the cotyledons. After this, the seed ruptures and begins to grow roots and shoots. The root grows into the soil to search for more water and nutrients. The root also helps to keep the seed anchored in place. Then the shoot grows upwards through the soil towards a source of light and air. The seed coat falls off during this process. As the plant continues to grow, it will need plenty of air, water, light, nutrients and enough space to grow. The reason the plant needs all of these things is because it will need to carry out the process of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process in which carbon dioxide, water and light energy produces oxygen and glucose. Once the roots and shoots are big enough to carry out the process of photosynthesis, the cotyledon falls off and becomes part of the soil. The plant then begins to grow leaves, flowers and fruit. If you would like to learn more about photosynthesis, then click the video here.